Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, I've been showing people how to get aim assist on mouse and creating configs for the community. Today, I'm going to be showing a new config. It is, it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Sticky aim, tap strafe button, super glide, and an armor swap macro. If you need help with setting this program up, you're going to come click on my page, come to the playlist, click the how to use rewise playlist. The first video is going to show you how to get your keyboard and mouse set up properly. And the other videos here are tutorials and config setups for each game and how to change a toggle key is right here too. If you don't have the home key or one of the toggle keys in one of the configs, that's where you can, where you can find a video to change the toggle key if you don't know how. If you want to support the channel, you can do so through memberships. You can join here or you can show support with super thanks right here. Becoming a member is going to be the fastest way to get me in a voice chat in Discord. Although I do help people and I do jump in voice chats with people, I'm not always available. Becoming a member will make me available to you whenever I'm awake at least. <laughs> and I will voice chat you when with with you whenever you want. We'll go over setup. I'll create con we can make configs. I'll make configs specifically for you. Whatever you need with Rewise within my power, I, I can help you with. So consider becoming a member if you need help through voice chat and stuff. Although you can still join the Discord, it'll be linked in the description below. And I will still help you through chat. I do occasionally hop in voice chats with people, but I'm not always available. So this, like I said, becoming a member will make me more available. And I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you like this content and you find it helpful. I appreciate everybody that tunes in to watch. You guys are awesome. You can get the program at readwasd.com. It will also be linked in the description. Without further ado, let's jump in game and let's talk about this sticky aim. All right. So if you look in game, you look right here. I am not touching my mouse or keyboard. And we are getting rotational aim assist. So you need to pay attention to the settings here. If if you don't, your your, your junk's gonna be going crazy, and you're not gonna know why. So let's go in here to the controller settings, and I'll show you what it is doing. So if you look at the advanced controls here, and I cut response curve all the way down, and come back in here, you'll see exactly what this is doing. It's spinning in a circle. When you turn the response curve up, this still registers kind of in the background. And it stops. So yeah, you see, no more shake. Still getting the rotational. All right, so let's look at the settings here. You can either use normal settings. Make sure you're on a classic response curve, though. But I like to use advanced look controls. So these are the uh, settings. We're going to go over these first. We got dead zone 0, outer threshold 1, response curve 10, Yaw speed 500, pitch speed 500, turning extra yaw 100, ADS yaw and pitch speed both 375. If you want to raise the sensitivity here in the settings, turning extra yaw and turning extra pitch is exactly what it what it says it is. It it's turning extra yaw and turning extra pitch. It's extra sensitivity. So you want extra sensitivity? Think about using these right here. I would start if you know if you want to change the sensitivity, I would start in game first, then go to DPI and then start messing with ReWASD after that. All right, so. Before I get into uh, Super Glide and all that, let me show you exactly how this config works with the sticky aim. This is how I've added it. You come here to the main layer. In all directions, I've added a combo, this combo right here. So you see the combo here? It's activated by mouse movement. So anytime you move your mouse this far right here with the zone shape, it's going to activate. And I have it low so it, it's pretty much always activated except for that little 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 tiny little bit if you wanna want it to activate a little bit later in your flick you would raise it up and then it'll, it, the circle will expand to here and it won't it won't start until you you get past that point with your mouse so once your mouse gets past this point you'll see right here so it'll expand and then your mouse can move longer before 
the sticky aim sets in. But uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I like this number. That's what I use. It works well. All right. Now, let's get into this. Let's talk about some super glide. All right. Very easy, man. I have it set up on space. So it's basically you hold space, and when you get to the top of the jump, you let go. So hold space, top of the jump, let go. So yeah, I would practice on uh I would practice this on different sizes, size uh walls and stuff, just to get the timing down when you get to the top. You could do it on these small walls right here too. Pretty easy. Hold space, release at the top. Right when you go to mantle. And it's a timing thing. Don't get frustrated if you don't get it at first. It does take some practice. Just spend some time in here getting it down. And you'll pretty much be able to do it every single time. It's pretty consistent. All right. I also added a tap straight button in this. And what that's going to allow you to do is make lurching off of the super glide a lot easier. And what I mean by this is tap strafing off of the super glide. So you can go left, right, any direction, right? So the tap strafe button is going to be right here in Rewise. And this is how you add it. It's very easy. Very, very easy. So you just bind a key or a button on your mouse or whatever you're going to use to W. And then click Turbo and put it on 20 milliseconds. You can experiment with this time. I find lower doesn't, like having it really, really low doesn't work as well. And it kind of stutters a little bit. And this was a good middle ground that I found. I mean, if you, you find another setting works better for you, then use that for your tap straight button. All right, so with the tap strafe button, you basically just slide, hold it down, and look the direction you want to go and hit the strafe key. So for left, I would hold A. You slide. Oop, messing up here. Slide, hold A, hold the, hold the tap strafe button at the same time, and you can tap strafe right or left. And the opposite goes, hold D for the opposite way. And yeah. That's basically tap strafe. If you want to know if you're doing it right, you should be able to slide off of this ledge, go out, and come back in. So it should look something like this. You should go over the edge and then come back in. So yeah, combine them together. You you can hold both of them down at the same time. And when you when you come off of the off of the uh, super glide, you can lurch left or right. So hold them both down. You see, I went that way. And you could, you, I, I technically could have turned back this way and still been flying that way, but yeah. Pretty easy. Hold space. Hold space in the tap strafe key at the same time. And then when you, when you go to hit your super glide, you just turn left and hit the strafe key for the direction you're going. I mean, you can, you could turn all the way around and come back this way if you really wanted to. But yeah, pretty easy. All right. Onto the armor armor swap macro. Very easy. It's on shift. So you just hold down shift. It goes down to the armor. And this is going to be a lot shorter when in, in the boxes. They're in the same spot every time, you know, a few, a few places down. So you just hold shift, get to the armor, and swap. So you can, you can also move while doing this. The only thing that happens with this that you need to be aware of is your mouse stops moving. But the second you release shift, it will start moving again. You can move the whole time. And yeah, just make sure you release it. You know, it's a timing thing too. Just make sure you release it on the armor <laughs> or you're gonna pick up something else or not pick up anything at all. And we still got the uh, toggle button on the on the side mouse button, the one right above our tap straight button in this comping. And that is basically it. I appreciate everybody joining me. Um, I hope y'all enjoy this config, man. I worked hard on it. I spent a lot of hours sitting in here in the firing range. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. If you like it, you find this helpful. If I, you know you're learning something, man, help help a brother out. Love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Later.